Well, good evening, or I should say good morning. Uh, some of you have been asking for a video of what it is I'm pulling together and describing there in the blog. So I went ahead and uh, put this together. Uh, today I have finished the electrical connections for the finish line. Um, these are actually going to be components that will be mixed or uh, mounted in a fixed structure that are going to go into a device that attaches to the track. I'll just quickly explain what we have here. Uh, these power con or these connectors down over here. Uh, the first one is is that we got a power connector right there that'll bring the five volts to the finish line. These two connectors here are actually the signaling. They're going to go back up to the trip computer. They match up with these two here. This connector here is actually the start gate trigger, and that is going to connect up to this Ethernet. It'll be mounted on the other side of the track, and here is the magnetic read switch. It's actually got a magnet. I taped it together for right now just to keep it from getting lost. And then um, these devices on here are actually the infrared uh, detectors. Uh, they'll actually detect some ambient light, but they're most sensitive around uh, 940 nanometers. Uh, then these LEDs that you see across the top here are actually going to get mounted above the track. Uh, their peak frequency is 950 nanometers. Even though they're slightly off, they're definitely within the detection range in the bottom. And uh, when I bench tested this beforehand, I got uh, full saturation at about 5 inches. The current plan is to have this at about uh, 4.1 inches or so. So I should easily have enough light to saturate it. Uh, if not, I'll be able to uh, double it up and uh, add some additional uh, infrared uh, emitters on top to uh, increase the intensity, or worst case scenario, slap a light on the top of it. So over here on the trip computer, uh, let me go ahead and, I'm sorry, the uh, lane computer, what this is right here is I've got a little serial, I'll be able to push back uh, information to the user about what's currently going on, uh, race data, other information. Uh, and then on the board here, what I've done is I've wired everything through to the back side of the perf board. And as I turn it over, you can see I've got everything wired into a series of jacks. Uh, this is actually for the USB to Ethernet connector, which is, or USB to serial adapter, which is right here. Uh, then I also have connected here the LCD screen, which is right across here. And then two Ethernet jacks, which are wired back over to the other side. Uh, this is actually what's going to be connected to the uh, Grand Prix uh, race management software and uh, provide information about which race is uh, currently winning. This is actually the diagnostics port. It's a USB port that you can plug in the computer on that side, download new code to it. Uh, this is a Netdrino, the standard edition. Um, you can also power it here. Um, you can either power it from the USB or power it externally. For the race, I plan on actually powering it externally. And I've actually cut that through on the case here so you can kind of see it. Uh, when this is actually ready to be mounted, there's actually four screws and this perf board will get locked down there. And I actually just used a, a piece of, uh, of uh, double stick mounting tape right inside there just to keep the board mounted down there. And these connectors here will actually get epoxied into the case once uh, I'm sure that everything's in the position they want. Uh, the last piece, which is going to go over the front of it, is going to be a piece of Lexan. The original cover that came with it, which is this device right here, is just a piece of black plastic. Um, it would work, but the problem is, is that there is an LED right here that you can't actually see um, that has the power, whether or not there's power connected, and a second LED here that you can actually control within the device. Uh, that combined with the wanting to protect the um, computer has led me to want to create, actually, a Lexan shield. I first experimented with trying to cut a hole through uh, Lexan and put it up um, the LCD through it. I didn't like how that was, so I'm just going to use this as a template and actually cut out a fixed face plate. So this will mount over the top of the box, and this will, I, I'm going to cut a new one so this hole won't be here. And then the display will actually just be uh, double double stick taped right to the back side of it and then you can view the results right through the screen. Uh, preliminary software testing has shown that it's actually working pretty well. Um, uh, I don't have the alignment for the top LED emitter and the uh, detector on the bottom lined up perfectly yet, obviously because it's just a bench test right now. Um, but pegboarding out the wires and soldering it up 
although it worked well, it definitely took a long time. And uh, I look forward to this week to being able to actually uh, really pound out the software and uh, start to run some fake races with it to see how, how the good the data is. Um, I'll also upload some pictures of uh, the mechanical portions once I start building them. Have a great week.